Hello kids. This episode of the Buzz Club is going to be looking at a very old rotten tree. And there are some really interesting fungi growing around the base of it. Let's have a look. There's the red-bellied woodpecker calling. This is growing an old maple, sugar maple, at the base. You can see the tree has been dead a long time on this part, and it's still living on this part. But this interesting fungus is called Dryad's Saddle. It looks like a saddle that you would wear on a horse. It comes out in big shelving forms. And these are sort of medium sized ones. I've seen them get to be a foot across. It's also called pheasant back. Let's take a look and see why. Can you see up close that the top surface of the cap has almost feather-like scales? These are to resemble the beautiful pattern we find on pheasants. And notice how there's a depression in the center of the cap. It sort of slopes down toward the middle where the stipe is underneath. That's the name for the stalk. So I'm gonna pick one and we'll see what the pores look like on the under surface. Here I've broken off a piece of one of the very tough caps so that you can see the pores on the under surface. It's inside these irregularly shaped holes where the spores are produced, and the spores will reproduce this fungus. You can make a spore print by laying a piece of the cap down with the pore side down on a piece of paper and covering it with a bowl and letting it sit overnight. In the morning, you'll be able to see what color the spores are. On the other side of this tree, facing the west in the sun, you can see a cluster of small dryad saddles that are just starting to grow. We call this the button stage. This fungus is known for its incredibly tough tissue. The stipe alone is almost impossible to squeeze. And here you can see big scales in the younger caps. What's very important about this fungus is the role it plays in nature. It is what we call a late successional species, meaning that you'll only find it growing on very old, rotted stumps. It's about the last fungus to come in and break the stump down all the way back into the earth. I just love this fungus because of the beautiful patterns and textures in the cap and the stalk. See you next time. Bye-bye.